Welcome back to Tech Air City. This is Baranis coming back to you guys today with a full D lid tutorial. Now, last time I did this D lid tutorial, I got to agree with you guys. It was pretty vague. Some people were getting their dick stuck in the vice. Some people were getting their dick stuck in the fan. And so, hopefully, this time you guys will keep your dick in your pants, and you'll have a D lidded chip with cool attempts. So, first things first. What are you going to need? to de-lid this chip. Well, as you see here, the first thing you're gonna need is a vise. Uh, my one cost me about $15, so I'd say anywhere from about 10 to $20. This is what, how much it'll set you back. The next thing you'll need is a block of wood. Uh, this was about 50 cents, so that shouldn't be too expensive. And the third thing you will need is a hammer. Uh, any type of hammer will do. This is my one, this costs about, I think, $5. And the next thing you will need is a card. This is like a furniture club card. So any plastic card that's pretty soft and is not too sharp on the edges will do. And then the next thing you're gonna need, and I highly recommend this, is Cool Laboratories Liquid Pro. And I've tested this stuff in the past. It is really good when you're putting it on the die. Now, the last thing you're gonna need, of course, is your chip. And we're gonna get on with the deleting process now. Okay, so you got all your gear ready and you're ready to de-lid the chip. So what you want to do now is you want to open up your vise and then you want to put the voltage regulator. That's the part with all the little dots. You want that facing away from you and you want to put that in like that. So there. And then you want to tighten the vise up so it's in there nice and firm. So it's in there nice and firm. And then we want to get our hammer and we want to put it right on the edge there. Or you can use this other part, the other side here. And you want to basically just really give it a nice hit and make sure it starts coming off like that. And there you go, your chip should be delitted. So there you go. Uh, as you saw there, the chip flew off, but the background was pretty safe, it was pretty low. Make sure this thing isn't falling on the floor. And let's get on with the second step. Okay, so let's move on now with the next part. And this is just basically cleaning all the debris and all the glue off the chip. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna get the uh, alcohol wipe and just clean off the thermal paste, which as you can see here, it's actually pretty hard stuff. Hence why a lot of people want to de-lid their chip. So you just clean that off and just go around and basically clean all the crap off that you can. Now, don't use anything sharp or anything metallic as you may damage your chip. So, yeah, so we're basically just going around and we're cleaning out all the crap. So once you've used the alcohol wipe to clean all the stuff off, you can then start working on the chip. And we see here, not the best application of thermal paste right there so we just work along and we're just cleaning off all the crap so this is the first part you want to get all the all the bad thermal paste off there and then you want to start working on the glue so for the glue as you can see there nice clean dye so we basically have a nice clean dye there which is cool uh, now we can just start getting the card and we just start working away at the glue and getting that off. So, yeah. Pretty easy process. Um, just getting all the glue off. I'm just going to be doing, this is just, uh, you know, you can, you can spend a long time on this if you want to. Uh, it's up to you guys. I just want to take off all the excess, so I'm going to be doing it quickly. And then showing you guys... Uh, then the next step, which is applying the thermal paste. Okay, so after about five minutes of cleaning up, you can see here all the crap is come off the chip. And basically, essentially what you guys want is you want a flat chip. So you can see here, the chip is nice and flat. There's no excess glue sticking up. And also for the heat spreader, you want to make sure that that's the same around the edges, has all that excess taken off, and the middle has all the old thermal paste taken off that too. Uh, it also looks like I did a little bit of a little bit of a chip off the edge there when I was deleting. So that's why you have the voltage regulator 
facing away from you when you're de-litting. Anyway, let's move on now to the next part of the process. The part where you just have to apply some Cool Laboratories Liquid Pro on the core. And now seriously, just a little dab of this stuff, no more, no less. Just a, seriously, just a little bit. That's probably actually even too much right there. But uh, now they include a cotton bud with the uh, chip. So now all you want to do is, sorry, with the pa with the thermal paste. And now all you want to do is you want to just apply that evenly across the die and make sure that you are getting no spill as well. So once you've applied all that, you are then ready for the next step. Okay. So we see there the whole die has almost got a whole complete layer of liquid pro on it and it's almost ready to go. Okay, so that's good to go. Let's put that in the motherboard now. Once you've put your chip in the motherboard, you can now put your chip over like this. So be very careful. This part requires a little bit of finesse. So you want to put your chip on like that. And you want to put it just a little bit further back than it otherwise usually would. So you can use the previous glue lines as a guide. And then you basically put that down like that and get it ready to clamp down. So I'll show you guys like this. Be very careful because this part requires a little bit of finesse. And so we can go like this and we put that down like that. Okay, and that should be good to go. That should generally be good to go. And we're now ready to put our heat paste on the chip and then we'll put the heat sink on and we'll see how good the temps are. Okay, so the thermal paste has been applied. I just used some Arctic Silver 5 as it's pretty decent stuff. Uh, anyway, so let's now put our heat sink back on and then we'll check the temps out. Okay, we're all good to go. Okay, now the last part we have to do is just give it a stress test. So we've got here Prime 95, small FFTs. We've got real temp open and this is also a hot summer day, so keep that in mind. But let's hit that and let's see the temps that we're gonna pull. Okay, so this is at 4.6 gigs in the summer, which like, I mean, I'm guessing it's about 27 degrees ambient, so it is pretty hot. And with my chip, uh, specifically with my chip, uh, Core 4 tends to run a little bit cooler than 3, 2, and 1. So this is typical of my CPU, so it's nothing to worry about. Uh, but overall, that looks like it's a pretty good uh, solid run. And if you guys enjoyed this D-Lid tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions you wish to ask me about this process, then please put a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Anyway, uh, good luck d your chip if you want to achieve those higher overclocks like my 4.6 gig. Uh, I can get this to 4.8 gig, but it does run a pretty high voltage at like 1.34 volts, which I'm not really comfortable running at 24 seven as opposed to a 4.6 which only runs at 1.25 volt. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you guys soon with another video. Uh, peace out for now. Brand easy. Bye. I'm going to roll that outro too, baby. Oh, yeah. You guys are wondering the Pentium lived as well. That little chip that it got from the vice was not a problem. It's got Cool Laboratories Liquid Pro and it's also got the 4670K Intel cooler on it, not the Pentium Intel cooler. There is a little bit of a difference, but not much. Anyway, this is what it's doing with Prime 95, max temperatures of 50, and this is in summer. And it's a pretty hot day as well. So there's the Pentium. It's all good. Anyway, guys, catch you with the tech video soon. And I hope you enjoyed this D-Lid tutorial. Peace out for now. Bye.